It is really hot today. It's 90 degrees and sunny. I hope it's nice where you are. I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina, your complete car buying resource. You know what else is hot? The 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. I've got two of my friends here today to show you what's really, really special and super hot and fuego about the 4Runner TRD Pro. Voodoo blue and super white. Bow for the camera. So what makes the 4Runner so tough, so rock solid, so badass? It's an SUV that's a body on frame, which means that the frame is bolted securely together with the body, and that way it takes a lick in, keeps on ticking. I hope I get royalties for saying that, but it's solid. It can handle tough, uneven terrain. And remember, this off-roading beast has multi-terrain select. It has crawl control, rear locking diff. It's made to conquer the most difficult of obstacles. Now, because it's a TRD Pro, it's gonna have the black hood scoop, Toyota signature front grille. It has projector headlights, but it has LED fog lights. The ground clearance, it's 9.6 inches on every 4Runner 4x4. This is such a rugged, beast-like front end. TRD stands for Toyota Racing Development. That's Toyota's performance arm of its arsenal of vehicles, its fleet. Now, because it's a TRD Pro, it's gonna have the skid plate to protect the valuable undercarriage and parts and systems. It also has red lettering. Now, this has Fox Tune TRD shocks and springs. You can see those there. What they do is they're nice and soft and smooth for nice performance when you're going on the highway, but then they really tighten up and absorb a lot of impact, a lot of shock to the system, especially going up hills, uneven territory. It's a monster, it's a monster. Everyone meet Voodoo Blue. This is Toyota's exclusive color for 2019 TRD. Last year's model for 2018 was Cavalry Blue. And then for 2020, the exclusive color is gonna be Army Green. You can check on my channel and also Torque News where I've done stories on what the Army Green is gonna look like on the Tacoma TRD Pro. But this has 17 inch black alloys with the red TRD lettering. This is 17 inch Nitto Terra Grappler all-terrain tires on it. The Predator step bars, that's an option, that's not standard, but you'll see the black badging TRD Pro, and of course it comes with a black roof rack, and that's standard. I can see kayaks, I see boats, I see canoes up there. It does not have turn signal indicators, and it also does not have the blind spot monitor on the 4Runner, just so you know. It also has a traditional key, so there would not be a smart key auto open on driver or passenger door or push button start. I wanna make sure I show off the whole entire vehicle so you can see everything and appreciate what a true legend this 4Runner is. Now on the TRD Pro, another angle of the 17 inch wheels and tires, Predator step bars optional, black roof rack, TRD Pro black badging. This has front and rear disc brakes, ventilated disc brakes. The fuel, it's 17 in the city, 20 on the highway. It combines for 18 miles a gallon. And then the fuel tank on all four runners is gonna be 23 gallons. So do the math, 18 combined times 23 gallons is Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade. Along the backs of the vehicles, the towing capacity is 5,000 pounds, comes with four and seven pin connectors, so you can connect just about any boat, trailer, camper that you need to. The rear window, that goes down through power. There's a button by the driver's side where you can go down, go up. Has a backup camera hidden underneath here under the elements. Nice, solid, protecting from brush and sticks and things like that. And then I'll show you a couple different configurations for the back. The first way I'll show you, this has nothing in the back. It's just empty, lots of room for storing things. It does have the 120 volt, 400 watt grounded outlet here. Also the 12 volt circular port so that you can plug in and charge things. This also has standard, the JBL sound system. So you have multiple 15 JBL speakers, including amplifier, subwoofer, almost eight inches big. So it has concert-like performance in your vehicle. You've never heard sound like this. This is what the cargo storage capabilities are. 
It's 100% flat. I would love to see dogs up here observing everything around them. They would love it. Great for animal road trips. Nice and flat. Show you the other side too. Look how much space is in here. The seats fold forward and they prop up against the back of the front seats. But look at that versatility and what you can do there. I could see so many possibilities here. You could put a Bigfoot in here. Now our Voodoo Blue friend here has a different backseat configuration. It has the sliding rear cargo deck. This holds 440 pounds. You just slide the lever and now you can move it out here. It's perfect for tailgating, for doing work back here, all sorts of stuff. It would be great for setting up a blender here, plugging it into the outlet. You could watch the fireworks, watch your kid's ball game. It's set up for so many different possibilities. With the sliding rear cargo deck, the storage is configured just a little bit different way. This is with one of the seats down and one of the seats up. That way you can fit a person there and still stack your luggage up so that everybody and everything fits. See here, it's about 100% flat, no lip. Go to the other side. If you're looking for a vehicle that holds a lot of backseat passenger space, leg room, head room, shoulder room, 4Runner could very well be your car. It has so much room for leg room. Head room is great on it. The seats are very comfortable. You can really stretch out here on longer trips. Let's see if I can show you all the extra space. And this is still with the seat. Probably could come back a little bit more, but it is leaned back a little bit. Plenty of stretch out room. It has rear seat air vents. This has optional two USB ports here, and it has the 12 volt circular port along with pockets here where you can put iPads, notepads, books, things like that. Now just check out the visibility. Look at the large windows here. It has so much room and access so that you can see everything around you. Huge windshield. That's a benefit when you're trying to see with all these distractions and cars around you. Boy, that Voodoo Blue is great. But again, look at all the visibility. That is so strong for an SUV this size. And as far as interior features, of course there are going to be things that I'd like to improve or see changed. Anybody would on any car. I would like to see the smart key push button start. I would also like to see a little bit bigger multimedia screen at 6.1 inches now. It does have the JBL speakers in it. So again, it's like you would hear music right from the recording studio or you're at the game or the symphony. It's really strong come standard with the moonroof. Be very, very quiet. I hunting Tia de Pro. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this thing is great. This is what it looks like unoccupied. Let me show you. Rear air vents, pockets. That's that optional two USBs. Nice, comfortable armrest here with cup holders has all the child safety latches so you can put, I would think you could put three car seats or boosters across, no problem on this one at all. Very wide vehicle. It has the red stitching. You'll see red accents all over the place when we look at the interior here. TRD Pro headrests, soft tech seating. It has a four-way power passenger seat. Inside, I'm gonna show you some convenience features. Also the off-roading features. It has eight-way power adjustable seat with lumbar support controls. Notice the red stitching everywhere, like I said. Does not have Toyota Safety Sense in the 2019. As an FYI, this is how you draw power to the back. Controls real easy to get to. Pick up a call, hang up a call. This changes your multi-information display. Voice commands that you can give the car. Very nice readout. readout. It's sporty, it's classy, it's a little bit of everything. It has an auto dimming rear view mirror. This is the back window here. That is so nice, it's great for dogs, for people, just so you can get the feel that the windows are open without affecting you too much inside as well. Then it has a 12 volt circular port right in here. Gradual heated seats. The part-time four-wheel drive with TRD shift knob. 
Here's the USB and the auxiliary jack port. 12 volt circular port. Has nice thick knobs here <laughs> so that you can control your air this way. It's not digital. This is the six point inch. It has a map card in it. And then you can use the voice commands like this. Find nearby Italian restaurants. Which POI would you like? Boom! Tony's Pizza in the house. You can do HD radio, JBL, Grace Note shows you the album cover. Sirius XM. And then up here, these are our big time performance things. This is for the multi-terrain select and also the crawl control, active traction control. This is the locking rear div. There's turns on and off traction control. I've been doing a lot of talk about that lately, when you wanna have traction control on, when you would turn it off, i.e. doing burnouts or rocking your car if it's stuck in mud or snow. This is for Homelink, three different garage door programmers. That's for your... Hello, North Carolina. Go to Carolina in my mind. Sweet Carolina, uh, uh, uh. Has a slider. Also, lighted mirrors. As far as under the hood, let's start here. It's got no prop rod. It's got pneumatic lifts. Convenient, easy, safe. Hood blanket here. We're working with a 4.0 liter V6 engine, 270 horsepower, 278 foot-pounds of torque. And for performance, this is a five-speed automatic transmission. It has multi-terrain select, crawl control, locking rear diff. Very important to people. Have the wheels spin at the same rate so they're not doing extra work. They're both working as hard as possible. Great for uneven territory, climbing up hills, going down hills, things like that. It has active traction control. This thing is a beast! And when you start it up, this is just yet another indicator. This is not like any other SUV, any other vehicle on the planet. It's the last true SUV left, the last sheriff in town, the last bunny on the prairie. It is a beast, beast-like performance. It is awesome. Here's the window sticker. What does it cost? What are the specs? How does it read out? 4x4, TRD Pro, made in Japan. Black graphite interior, super white, of course. You can get it in black or the Voodoo Blue exclusive color. For the 2020, just so you know, it's gonna have army green, magnetic gray metallic, black and white so you've got four color choices next year standard equipment on the left hand side because it's a trd pro there was no optional equipment added at the factory on this one it doesn't really need much else than what it provides these are options that were added at the regional assembly point and then this one is about 49,000, 49,861 on this particular one you can probably get it less equipped for 48, 5, 49, right in that range. Our backup camera is crystal clear. It's like you're watching a TV. The red line says you're about one and a half to two feet away from backing into something. I like the digital speedometer on here. The car itself, you know you're driving in a truck-like SUV, but for the vehicle that it is, it's smooth, it's relatively quiet, it's very comfortable when you're driving. Take it for a little spin in the back here. I love the visibility out the sides and the front. It's just a huge windshield and that comes in handy all the time. There's our performance controls. Yeehaw, Jester's dead. So what kind of investment is a Toyota 4Runner? It is a fantastic investment for a vehicle. Out of any car, truck, or SUV, any brand, Kelly Blue Book did a study of the top resale values of any vehicles. 
the Tacoma was number one, Tundra was number three, and the Forerunner was number five. So three out of the top five vehicles of any car, truck, or SUV are Toyotas. They hold their value extremely well. And with a prize gem like this, uh, Forerunner, TRD Pro, either in the Super White, the Midnight Black Metallic, or the Voodoo Blue, Excellent choice, my friends. If you're in North Carolina area looking for a new Toyota, ask to work with me, Jeff Teague, Fred Anderson, Toyota.